That's right, baby. We got her driving. Uh-huh. She drives. And we're back. Right guys, as you can see from behind me, I've got a huge amount of parts to put on the car for this video. We've got the slam panel, the radiator, we've got a service kit, and I'm also gonna do the drive belt because it was looking a bit rusty. I've also, in contrary to my last video, so I know I did the intercooler, I rebuilt that last video, but I've also gone ahead and bought a new one. Basically, I tested out the old one, and it wasn't quite as sealed as I thought it was. There was no rubber seal in it, and uh, some of the metal connections were a little bit off, so I thought, forget it let's just get a new one and make sure that the turbo is going to be running great we're going to go ahead and start fitting those parts i'm also before i start getting all these parts on while i've got all the front end off i'm going to go and service the car so we've got new oil for it um, new oil filter we've got a drive belt and of course gonna to have to fill up the radiator with coolant so yeah let's go and get on with it right so we're going to swap out this lower control arm and this ooh, is the old one and this <laughs> is the new one should be yeah hopefully <laughs> there we go. lovely new one finally let's just try and put it on see what happens <laughs> Right, let's lost tighten it up to talk. There we go. That was it. <laughs> I'd already tightened it up. Just gotta get the heat shield back on. And then we're done. Can't put the heat shield back on, but it's a bit. Right, heat shield's back on now. Hopefully, when the steering wheel turns now, it's going to be a bit straighter as it was looking from the camber of the control arm being out. It was looking like the steering was out or the uh, tracking was out, even so. Hopefully, now um, both sides will be the same. So, yeah, let's get it down and uh, take a look. So while we were down there I thought I might as well get the airbox out because it was getting in the way of the bent frame and if we're going to be doing work to the frame anyway we might as well have that out of the way so yep that's done. Right back to future me and let's carry on with the rest of the front end. Okay, so I've just removed the new slam panel out of its packaging and all I'm doing right now is just offering it up to the old one and making sure that all the parts fit. As you can see, the old one was all cracked up here, but the new one, we're all good. So yeah, let's go and take it over and see how it goes. 
All right, put the clutch up. Yeah. Right, so we've got the front slam panel out here now. Now, before I measure it up to the frame, I just want to show you quickly here what I've done. So the frame here is considerably better than what it was before. What I've been doing is hammering it from the inside in here. Uh, so it's all crumpled up in here. So I managed to pull it out a bit, start hammering out. I, all I want really at the moment is just to make sure that these holes will line up to, well, this hole will line up to the slam panel and this hole will line up to the front wing when we get that. The way that I've pushed it up, because it was quite far down, so I got this pole, basically put a jack underneath here, a trolley jack, and put it underneath here and jacked it up and it managed to push the frame upward. Has crumpled it slightly up here, but maybe that's something we can sort out in the future. If need to be, I'm going to carry on pushing that up or in by just hammering it sli slightly. I'm just going to offer up the new slam panel and make sure that it fits right. Right, so we've got a leveler here in a minute to line it up make sure that it's level and it's across. So I'm just going to get the slam panel and put it on there now. Let's get this around the front. Slot that in. That's not too bad, you know. Seems to be fitting on each side now pretty well. I'm just going to get the leveller to put it across the slam panel and see what sort of level we're getting. So let's take a look. I'm going to put it about there. That's not too bad. That's almost spot on. Take a look from the top there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. That's pretty well levelled. I think now we we'll just have to um, put everything else on and make sure that it fits properly. And as well, when we get that new wing, we're going to have to offer that up to this side and make sure that it all fits together nicely and is flush so or the same as the other side so yeah so before i get all the components back onto the slam panel i'm just going to give the car a quick service just oil oil filter and the drive belt done so then if we do get the car started with the radiator intercooler on at least we know that the oil is good and the drive belt is good so let's get on with that we've got our 5w30 oil and we've got our oil filter so this is a service pack from OP Oils. They've hooked us up. We've got an OP Oils air freshener and we've got a funnel and I believe some gloves or something to help us out with the process to keep it all clean. So let's do that. Right, so I've just finished, or near enough finished, draining up the oil on there, and it is absolutely filthy. Like, it's so black. I know normally it comes black, but this is literally coming out like chocolate syrup. Let me just show you. Let's get it out of there. Oh, careful. Look at that. It's that. Paint, isn't it? <laughs> that is so thick. Oh. I can literally pick yeah. it up my hands. You can, but why would you? That is horrible. But fun. <laughs> Put that on there. Take those off now, surely. Oh, it was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh no! No. I knew what I was about. Right, our review of these gloves is not good. <laughs> Not the result we were hoping for. Brilliant. I, I mean, Paddy did dip his fingers in it. Yeah, well, I didn't think that that was going to actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit... Language. Peak, Patrick. Yeah, very peak, thank you. <laughs> Luckily, our kit provides something to clean your hands with. To be fair, it was quite <laughs> stupid me dumping my hands in. <laughs> but hey, it, was, it was worth it. hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs>
Right, so we've got the new belt on now, all finished up. We've got the new oil in there, all topped up now. I've put about four and a half litres in there. Um, and we're just going to have to wait until I can get the MMI screen on there to check. So when the car's running, see how much we need, see if we top it up. Um, anyway, we've got a new oil filter in there as well, fresh oil. So I'm probably going to wrap up for tonight and start tomorrow morning. It's starting to get a bit gloomy, it might rain. So tomorrow we're going to get that slam panel on, as you saw earlier. It's pretty leveled out now, so the slam panel fits at least. My next step tomorrow is to put all the radiator, intercooler, AC and fan back onto the slam panel and fit it all back onto the car and get it lined up and make sure that it all fits. And then if it's all good, then we might have a running car. So hopefully we can get that done tomorrow. So see them. You forgot one thing you're going to do tomorrow. What? Shave that beard. Oh yeah, maybe I'll have a little trim up and see if my, I'll let my sister cut my hair as well. Treat you all. <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> no. No, babe, looks great. <laughs> Give me the bad news. Right, guys, it's a new day. As you can see, I've had a fresh trim due to popular demand, aka from Maddie. From behind me we've got all the new parts that are about to swap over so without further ado, let's get straight to it. Okay, so I've just got round to taking off the fan and this is going to go straight back onto the new radiator. And this is the old radiator. And as you can tell, it's pretty bad. Look at this. That just completely pushes through, it's so weak and old. All of this must have been from the impact of the fan when it crashed, so yeah. That makes sense why it was so little coolant in there now. So let's get the fan on the new one and start putting everything back on the new slam panel. Right, pretty much all of the pieces are on the slam panel now. We've got the radiator fitted on properly and housed in and we've got the intercooler oh sorry and we've got the AC condenser slotted in to the radiator as well so pretty much all of the parts are on now and hopefully I'll be able to fit it onto the car now and get the intercooler on there and connect all the pipe in so let's go Okay, so we've got the front end on now, pretty much all bolted in, just needs to be tightened up. The radiator pipes need to be put on. The AC pipes are on here and here. So while it's on now here, just had another chance to put the leveler on top. And as you can see, it's looking pretty level now. So that's good news that it's still level. Just gonna get the last bits on, get the intercooler in there and connect it all up and connect all the pipe in and then we'll hopefully get some coolant in there, so let's go.
Okay, so all of the pipes are all connected onto the intercooler and that's all on now. All the pipes in the radiator are all connected at the top here and underneath. And now it's just time to top it all up with coolant, get it all in the reservoir and hopefully we can bleed it out of this reservoir too. I know it's a pressurized system. So yeah, gonna jump in the car, start it. I'm also gonna go and connect the LCD screen up to the car to see if I can get a uh, oil measurement in, in the LCD screen while, uh, in the LCD screen while we've got it running. So let's go do that. Okay, so we're just gonna pop the MMI screen on. And then hopefully we can get the car started. And that's just gonna fill up the coolant as we go. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the heat on. Ooh, we got the light. Oh. Right. Yeah. Take it gently to see what happens at first. I'm just going to drive the car around forward and back a bit just to make sure uh, we're getting it circulating. We move! For all the haters. Hey, Patty's a rebel. Back and straighten up a bit. Right, we've had the car running for a good 10-15 minutes now and the temperature's gone up to 90 degrees which is what we want. Right, so that's pretty much staying there now so I think we're all good and everything's running fine. Just going to turn the car off and leave it a few minutes and then hopefully it's going to display the oil level. Okay, so I've turned the car off and after about 10 minutes the oil level came up on the screen. I think it just had to take time for the oil to go back down to the sump plug. We've got about three quarters of the way full so I'm going to top it up. Um, once once the engine's cooled down a bit more and then um, hopefully we'll get it to max so yeah right we're gonna end the video there guys thank you for watching we had some real good progress on the car today and hopefully in the next videos we're gonna start making the front end look like an actual car instead of just a heap of metal and radiators and whatever it's such huge process I've only had the car three weeks and I've already managed to change out the whole front end and get the car driving so we've got a new dashboard coming soon and that's going to need to be changed out so that's going to be coming up in one of, one of the future videos I hope you enjoy the video anyway guys we're going to be dropping a new video every week usually every Monday and if you're lucky every Sunday evening tune in next time when we're going to get the car back together hopefully okay if anyone else if anyone else has a crackhead boyfriend you will understand the two Worst words coming from him are what are they, Patty? Watch this. Watch this. You never know what you're going to turn around to, but you know it's going to be dangerous.